for the uh, disc jockey I seem to hear most often when I listen to Radio Caroline. Tell me, how did you get this uh, admittedly rather unusual job? Well, we just did voice tests for it. You got it purely on your, on your voice? Yes, I think so, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have the job myself for a pension, I don't think. Is it terribly well paid? Um, well, I haven't seen any money since I've been on, actually. I haven't seen one cent, you know. But it must all be piling up in the back. Well, I suppose it is, yes. I don't know how much I'm being paid, though. You don't, really? No, honestly, really, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm paid in blood and sweat at the moment. Yes, I think you are. Um, you don't think this will be a damaging to your career being associated with, with this uh, radio station? Heavens, you know, the pirate ship? No. No, I, no. no. Do you think, on the contrary, it might well make your career? I think, well, it might make... Mike, yes, I suppose it would make my career. Yeah, it would help. Anyway, it's a great thing, great idea. Um, how many are Simon to uh, run Radio Caroline? Well, in one number, that would be hard to say because there are all different stages of the people in London, the brains who plan the programs and the, the DJs that make shows and the technicians, the crew that runs the ship. Oh, I should think at least a hundred people, I should think. And on board ship, how many? The crew, which are at present about 16, the captain, two technicians and two DJs. Two DJs. Yeah. How long have you been on board yourself? Long time, long time. Um, how long have I been on board? Five, uh, six weeks. Six weeks. It seems to me, and I'm not being unkind, you could do with a rest. Um, yes, I could do with a rest. <laughs> but feeling a little bit neurotic, are you? Well, a little bit, yes. You know, I'm smoking about 60 of these things a day. And, um, but it's, you know, it's all happening. It's great to be in the middle of it all. What don't you like about it? What don't I like about it? Um, I don't think I... I don't like not getting enough sleep, but apart from that, fine. I'm well, really. going to ask you about your day. How does your day start? Tired. Yes. <laughs> what time do you get up? Five o'clock. And um, we come up here and switch the transmitters on. Then we run through some test tapes, put the records on, decide which record shows we're going to play put those on, test them for levels and, you know, the, the carrier wave and the modulation and everything. Then we start transmitting at six and uh, we go on through the day, changing record shows, different DJs taking over. The records are heard at the side while the program's going out now. I mean, you can adjust this. It doesn't make any difference to the transmission. You can sort of fiddle around in here while the whole thing's going on and listen to records and plan for, say, tomorrow's show even. Supposing, and I hope it doesn't happen to you, you have gales for the next three weeks. Have you got enough tapes to keep going? Um... Well, we don't really need tapes, not now. We needed tapes to start with when we were established because all these things happened. We were knocked off the air, as you just said a few moments ago, by, uh, what's her name, Queen what? Queen Wilhelmina. That's right, Queen Wilhelmina. Yeah. Yeah, she came by at about 20 knots, 10 feet away, and knocked us off. So we fixed her. We told her captain not to do it again, and she didn't do it again. <laughs> he must be a pop fan, then, I think. Well, I think he was, yeah. We asked him for a request, but we never got it. Uh, tell me, what did you do for relaxation? When sleep. you finish at six o'clock. I sleep all the time. You go to bed at six o'clock? Uh, no, seven o'clock. I have to eat. Eat, eat. eat from six to seven and then I go to sleep. What's the grub like? Very good. Peter is the finest cook, you know. It